Um, you know, we don't know what your hobbies are, despite, <laughs> despite being with you for the last 20, 20 some odd years. Um, we don't know what you like to do. Work. But, you know, we just figured you got a new iPhone about a year ago, I think. <laughs> it finally brought you into the, the 2000s. And, um, and you guys are going to do a lot of traveling, I think, correct? So hopefully you can transfer that, that uh, knowledge you gained into the iPad. Um, we hope that it'll be helpful for you, especially as you're driving along and you may get lost in the <laughs> Okay, Trey, 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 come sit. I don't know what you're thinking. Uh, you know, who, let the, who let the lawyer get up here and talk? <laughs> I promise, you know, I, I could talk for two or three hours about Dr. Wong, but uh, I'll keep it brief. Well, I'm honored to be here. Uh, uh, I, I've had the, the honor, the privilege of working with Dr. Wong and REPC for the last 20 years. During that time, I've had the pleasure of getting to know Charlie as he maneuvered his way through the hallways, the operating rooms, the meeting rooms, even the boardrooms at Crittenden Hospital. It's been quite a journey. It's always been a distinct pleasure to answer the phone when the voice on the other end said, Attorney Gallinger, this is Dr. Wong. Am I interrupting? Do you have some time that I can discuss with you some issues regarding my corporation? He would start virtually every conversation as though I, I, I wouldn't have time for Dr. Wong. I always have time for Dr. Wong. And with each phone call, each meeting, each interaction, it was an opportunity to enjoy the honor, respect, and the intellect that Dr. Wong brought with him to every occasion. During the course of those 20 years, I rarely heard Dr. Wong use the word I, me, or my. Except when he was referring to my partners, my corporation, or my administration. Dr. Wong always took a selfless approach. He was always concerned about his partners or his corporation. On many occasions, I'd be forced to ask him, Dr. Wong, what about you? How do you feel about that? His response was always, oh, no, 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 don't worry about me. Now, finally, with Caddy here. Maybe we have somebody that can help Dr. Wong think once in a while about himself. I can't think of a better scenario than to put an exclamation point on a stellar medical career than by finding the perfect partner to share the benefits of all those long hours and hard work. Thank you, Caddy, for bringing such a smile to Charlie's face. He has, he has more than earned the opportunity to shift his focus from long hours in the OR, the office, or with hospital administration to more worthwhile pursuits, like a beautiful wife, wonderful children, and his grandchildren. I, for one, I'm really looking forward to a phone call from the esteemed Dr. Wong that goes something like this. Hey, Jeff, this is Charlie. I don't have any issues. As a matter of fact, I don't even remember what issues are. But I would love, love to meet you at Mitchell's when I get back in town, bring you up to date on everything that's going on outside of the hospital. So here tonight, although we congratulate Charlie, we're not saying goodbye. We look forward to hearing all about your exploits. On behalf of myself and all of us, I want to wish you and Caddy nothing but the very best. Congratulations, you've earned it. I just met for the first time tonight one of Dr. Wong's 